Hello, in this lesson I want to show you an easy way to track your landing page signups, otherwise known as opt-ins. But before we start, I want to make sure that you have all the requirements. So here's what you need. A landing page with an opt-in form, also known as a sign-up form, a thank you page, and an email autoresponder so that you can store email addresses and send out emails to your list. I use Aweber because I think it's a great tool at a low price. This is the landing page that I will be using for this tutorial and whenever somebody subscribes they will be taken to my thank you page and on this page they can download a copy of their free guide. If you have all of these then we can continue with the tutorial. So when you send traffic to your landing page you need to track your results. You need to know which landing pages convert and which are no good. To create a great landing page, you need to test headlines, call to action buttons, designs and your landing page copy. In this tutorial, you'll learn an easy method for tracking your opt-ins and for split testing your landing pages. I will be using ClickMagic. This is a paid software, but it's cheaper than most tracking solutions. I've seen many tracking tools that cost you $30 and more per month. This one comes nowhere near that price. That being said, it is also better than the free solutions out there. What you get is an easy to use tracker that saves you a lot of time and you don't have to copy and paste tons of lines of codes to measure your opt-ins. Using ClickMagic, you just need two things, a tracking link and a tracking pixel that you insert into your thank you page. And that's all. So let's first create our tracking link using ClickMagic. So here's my landing page and in it I'm giving away a free guide how to start your blog. So I, I want to measure the opt-in rate, so how many people type in their email address and subscribe to my list. So to track it, I here's the URL for my landing page, I will copy it and now I'll go over to ClickMagic. So this is the main ClickMagic dashboard. Now to create a new link, I just click over here, create new link. And I can give my link a new name. So in this case, let's call it uh, blog test one for this tutorial. I copy the landing page URL next to the primary URL. So paste, there it is, and the tracking link. So this is a custom link which I have set up for ClickMagic, but I will just give it a description. So I'll just call it blog test. Oh, this is a URL, so I'll just put a hyphen. Okay, and then I click create link. Then we just click the link name. And here is our tracking link. So this is the, we just copy it and this is the destination URL for our advertising. Next, we have to apply the tracking pixel to my thank you page. So to measure the signups or the opt-in rate, I click over here, go over here to this cog, click on it, and then track conversions. Now over here, make sure that last click is selected. It should be selected by default, but just in case, make sure this. Now what I want to do is I am going to highlight the action tracking pixel, the action that is an opt-in or a sign up. So I'm just going to highlight this and copy it. So I've copied this pixel because now I have to add it into my thank you page. And I'm going to add this code into the body tags of the thank you page. Now this, do not get this mixed up with the head tags. If you add this tracking pixel into the head tag, it's not going to work. It has to be the body tag. So let's go do that right now. Now I use a software to create my landing pages and it's called Optimize Press. You may be using a different software, but, uh, or you may be coding it. Whatever you're doing, uh, the process should be similar and it should be very easy to find the body tags. So let's do that right now. So blog setup thank you page. 
I'm going to go to Live Editor. This is through Optimize Press. And I use, I use Optimize Press because it's very, very easy and you don't have to code your pages. If you can click and drag, then you can create great landing pages. Now in the editor, I just click on the page settings, other scripts, and then over here, after the body tag, I paste my tracking pixel. This page is already set up to measure conversions. That's why this is the tracking pixel. This is the, exactly the same tracking pixel that we copied earlier. So we would just paste it over here. That's all you need to do to track your conversions. What happens is somebody goes to your landing page, they sign up, they get redirected to the thank you page, and then the pixel sends a message to ClickMagic and it registers an opt-in. Now I'll show you how the opt-ins look on the ClickMagic dashboard. So let's go to ClickMagic. Okay, so these first two links I've already created and I have already tested. Over here, we've got a couple of these. This may look a little bit strange at first, but it's very easy. TC stands for total clicks. Then we've got unique clicks and fake clicks. A stands for actions. So we use the action pixel to measure opt-ins. So for these two pages, we know that uh, based on, uh, on this link, blog guide one, I had 354 clicks and 73 actions, and that gave me an opt-in rate of 23.2%. On the second link, blog guide number two, I tried a different landing page, and this one only had 6.7% opt-in rate, so it was much weaker. But there you have it. That's all you need to do to measure your opt-in rate for landing pages. Now let's do a split test. For this, you need a second landing page. So I'm going to use another example of a landing page that I created earlier. Okay, so this is my second landing page. So this is the URL of the second landing page. I will copy it. And now, in the ClickMagic dashboard, the blog test one, this is the tracking link that we created. So we're just going to click on the cog and then click over here, split testing. I'm going to call my second uh, link, just second link. I'm going to paste the landing page URL over here, and I want 50% of the traffic to go to this page. And then I click add URL. Now you can add as many pages here as you like, but I recommend checking two pages at a time. Then once you have a winner, you can test the winning page against another page that you create. So now I'll show you how this looks in action. Like this first link here, blog guide one, this was actually a split test. So what I do is I click on the number here, just under the TC column. Now you can see the different percentage opt-ins for the different pages. So my primary URL had an opt-in rate of 29.5%. Now I tested it against uh, over here, my second uh, landing page, which only had 16.7%, so not as good. Although still okay, because this was pretty cold traffic. I actually used Bing traffic for this uh, split test. And my third landing page only had an opt-in rate of 19.1%. Now over here, the sub ID, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, like I said, I was using a Bing uh, campaign. So this is Bing traffic and I wanted to see which keywords were converting keywords. So that's basically what I tracked over here. But that's it. Now you know how to measure opt-ins and split test your landing pages without actually having to do any coding. Thanks for watching and below this video you can find a summary of all the tools that I use to create my landing pages and track them.